Well, all right. Here we are at the table in the old residence of me. And uh, today we're going to be taking an initial look at uh, a very, very exciting piece of kit for me, at least, in terms of the Catula K10 traction spikes. Hmm. Okay, let's turn the camera around at the table and take a look at the product in question. All right, so once again, we are taking an initial look at the Catula K10 traction spikes, and here they are. Whew. What a, what a piece of kit. Just look at those. Whoo-hoo, okay. Let's focus on just one for now. So here we have the right side spikes. And so we have, you know, the uh, heel, heel zone, toe zone. And uh, I've read the instructions. So let's go ahead and get these fitted. I've got my right side winter boot here in the form of the Solomon Winter Quest. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy fitted. Okay, so we're gonna undo that strap and that strap as well. Now we're gonna set the heel there. And we're gonna get the toe. Close that down, and that seems to be it. Yep, that's it. It's a, it's a pretty easy peasy process. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat that with the other boot. Now you can't... Okay, see, here's here's where the problem comes in. You see this extra gap up front? According to the instructions, that's no good. So we do have to go in and adjust this leaf spring bar here. So let's go ahead and do that. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. So I have been playing with this off camera, so I know how many holes to take out already, but I'm just going to show you how this whole thing works here. So we have a number of holes, and we have this sort of leaf spring pin here. You lift that up. Hopefully I can and get it to show you. Oh, there it is. Yep. So you got that pin in there. So that's gonna, that's what holds everything in place. So you lift that up and then slide it. And I know that I was at one, two, three, four, five pins. And so that is the carrying configuration. And then it extends into the walking configuration. And so the instructions say when it fits, you want that to be at the front. I've already tried this a few times. And so I'm fairly confident I can get that, that the fifth hole will fit the boot properly. If not, but a little tight in the toes. Yep, a little tight in the toes, but everything's nice and snug. Okay. And that how that is done and so now you can see the leaf spring is in the appropriate position in terms of in terms of where the instructions want you to have that I've already thrown out the instructions unfortunately so I can't actually show that but if you do get a pair of these uh, the instructions will and in, will tell you that you don't want just one hole here and you also don't want this extending out here so when I when I initially set that up it was wrong and then showed how to properly fit 
the Cthulhu K10s to your footwear. So as you go around, you just check to make sure there's no significant gaps. Nothing's too tight. No, that all. Yeah, that that seems like uh, you know when your body weight sets on that, it'll it'll squeeze out. So everything everything's looking good. Nothing seems too overly tense. Nothing's getting super squished. Oof, look at that heel grind. These guys are coming to the end of their life. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> we'll talk about that more in the long-term review of these guys. But anyway, uh, the K-10s do come with a snow skin release. So I'm going to go ahead and gather up the snow skins and get this boot out of here. And then we'll apply the snow skins. Okay, so here we have the snow skins. And as you can see, I've already, already, I have have already put these on once just to see how it feels putting them on and I've taken them off and I am doing this for the sake of this review. So let's see, where did this, does this one go up front? I think this is the front one. Yeah, that's the front one. Yep, that's the back one. Okay, the back one seems to be a little bit easier. So let's start with that. Of course, doing this on camera. Oh, geez. Watch your hands. Make sure you don't have to make sure your fingers aren't too slippery or sweaty. That's, that's tight. Whoo, that's tight. Okay. And even the instructions recommend that you only do this once. Once you put them on, leave them on. You know? <laughs> Okay, so those go there, that goes there. <laughs> Having, I did put these on once already and then took them off. It was even worse the first time. Ooh, yeah, I can't quite. Okay, let's see if I can get them here, like, you know, one over there. Ow. Yeah, maybe not. Let's see if I can go like corner to corner. Just like that. And like that. Maybe if I go like that. Oh, this is a Wow, I, uh, <laughs> ah, wow, uh, huh, okay, maybe, maybe that's it, maybe I got it now, maybe, maybe I don't got it now, Jeepers! Ugh. Wow. Yeah. Well, these snow release neoprene skins, whew, they're a pain. Real bugger. Oh man, I almost want to. literally a pair of pliers here like I'm not I'm not joking this is no joke wow I can't even get it with the pliers are you kidding me okay let's see if I can try to get a bit of slack back up a little bit. Okay, maybe that'll work. Okay, let's see. Grab it by the corner. Oh, really hard. Wow, that's not even getting it. Maybe a bit more slack over here. 
Ooh, ah. Okay, wow. Okay, yeah. If the, if you do that once, don't take these things off. Because it is one hell of a pain. I keep... And... You know, it's a pretty strong material. But it certainly lends the impression that you're wrenching it on there so hard that it's going to break. Slide these last bits up there. Wow, I'm not even kidding. Okay, so I'm not going to do the other one on camera. So I'm not going to put the snow skins on the other one on camera because that was ridiculous. You saw it. So, once I get the snow skins on the second pair, I'm going to take this out back and uh, stride along stride along on the uh, snow pack in the back alley just as a quick little test of the Catula K-10s. Well, all right. Here we go. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Ah. It is what it is. block here. Kalak is our rock simulate that we found in the wild. So we got the K10s here. I've already sized them up. And now it's just time to put them on. Okay, here we go. Gotta open up these back fins a little bit. Gotta do the new clip. Let's see. How well does that look? That's actually pretty good to work with a pair of gloves on bad. Fiddle around with this a little bit. Put it in there. Come on. Okay. That does it. Is that it? Come on. That's right. First time ever that I'm putting these things on. I've sized them, but I haven't actually put them on outside. So I think I got it. Yeah, I think. Well, I think I catch them a little bit right there. We'll see what happens when I step down. Okay. So the other side. But I think I might have them a bit too. Oh, um, <laughs> it would help if I were putting them on the right feet to begin with. Because I just tried to put the left one on my right foot. Well, that didn't hurt it at all. So, uh, that's good to know. If you accidentally put it on the wrong foot, you're not going to break it. Straps are starting to... Oh, okay, that fits much better. Yeah, now it makes sense. Okay. Straps are a little bit hard to work at first. I'll probably... get a little bit easier with time. So I'll just try to tuck that away. There we go. Okay. Now for the right foot. Heel in there. Ah, yeah, my deep. Ah, one side seems to be catching a little bit on the tread. I gotta force it on there a little bit. 
wasn't really doing that. There we go. This is what it takes. Took a little bit of finagling. I was just getting hung up on a shred lug. exactly the fastest process, considering I've never actually put these on for real outside. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. All right, let's, uh, let's take off. Okay, I don't know if you got a feel for uh, that quick little walk there, but uh, let's, uh, let's go for it. Not necessarily walking gently. Listen to that fight. Okay. Let's turn around and this part's pretty icy. Slippery snow. And just you can hear a teeth on that thing just cutting into the snow. Let's go back to the hard pack. Oh yeah. That's great. Like you can just you can do this all day. No problem. Wow. If I can, can't even move your foot back and forth. Like, and there's your, there's your spike pattern there. These things are incredible. Whoo! Wow. I've used a few cheap traction devices over the years. This is like nothing else. Okay, so here we are, back at the table with the lovely Catula K10 hiking crampons. And I would just like to say that after that initial test in the alleyway, the so-called backyard gear lab, um, they're, they're, they're amazing. Um, yeah, they're, they're absolutely amazing. Um, I, I yeah, I, I, I need to just use them more for real on the trails to be able to really break down uh, the performance of these things. Uh, initially, I would be able to say, aside that they're, that other than that they're amazing, is that uh, the traction is is unparalleled. I've, I've never had anything attached to my feet that gripped ice as well as these. Uh, they are very comfortable to walk on. Uh, you know, having never used a product like this before, I was, there was some concern about these, like, pressure points here. It's, it's not a concern. Um, this, this leaf spring design really bears your weight in a super comfortable way. Uh, 
The only, the only negative thing I would say about these is that uh, they're quite heavy. Um, when you're walking around, you certainly notice that you've got about an extra pound on each foot. So, uh, so that is something to take into consideration. Personally, for me, you know, I am strong like bull. Sheet. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> 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 you know, I'm, a, I'm a pretty strong guy, you know. 60, 60 K in a day. So, uh, so the extra weight for me is not that much of an issue compared to the amount of effort it would take me comparatively to walk on ice without, uh, traction spikes like these. So, uh, my initial, imp uh, so my initial impression, cut myself off a little bit there, is that these are an excellent product. Um, if you're like me and you've been reading all the reviews of the much lighter weight, uh, micro spike style, uh, that are also available from Catula or Life Sport or any other brand, uh, those reviews, the, the, the rubber keeps breaking. I've read a number of reviews where the rubber on the rubber rand of the micro spikes fails within one use. Um, after briefly using these, and the alleyway out back, they'll they'll last. There's there's no reason why these wouldn't last, at least in my initial impression. So I still gotta get out, uh, use them a bunch on the trails, and hopefully be able to do a long term review in a while. Uh, to the point where uh, you know I'd know these products inside and out, and could tell you everything I like about them and everything I don't. So, as far as initial impressions go. They're amazing. Um, they, they get a big thumbs up for me, and I can't wait to actually use them on the trail. All right. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay warm and dry out there.